Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Wilbur in Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Uh, so last time we talked to uh, Pascal over here and we learned quite a bit about the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus and how he, you know, betrayed his mentor and all that jazz. Very cool, very in-depth character look there. And uh, I think that's what's going to be happening for uh, a good while here. Uh, but we do have our newest member here, Jay. And we're going to be talking to her pretty much all day, all episode, maybe, hopefully. Who knows? <laughs> maybe she has a lot to say. Hopefully she does. I'd like to learn, you know? Let's uh, let's jump right in here. Allow me to thank you again for helping me with the cargo, Sherin. I am sure the Ashmags who squirreled away my goods won't give up so easily, and I'll hear more about their scheming yet. Let's strike a deal, Sherin. I will watch your back if you do me a favor and watch mine. <laughs> well, enough jokes. Is there something you wanted? So there was business. There was some. Was there some business you wish to discuss? Oh, Sherin, I did manage to spark your interest. Allow me to invite you to a more private place. My words are meant for your ears alone. Uh oh. We traveling. Where are we going? Is it my room? Oh. Oh, it is. <laughs> Am I sitting here? What's going on here? Okay, the flickering lights of dozens of candles blaze across Jay's face, uh, making her small smile appear even more mysterious. Shireen, the exalted one himself, brought us together the day you crossed Vladam's threshold. Uh, he led us to the cargo and he gave his blessing for its return. Oh, she's talking. Oh, I thought she was talking about Vladamp, but I was just like, what? But now she's talking about the, the emperor. That's the exalted one, right? Like, that's what, who she's talking about? Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, okay. Uh, do you know what people on my world say when such things happen? Uh, what's gained? is to be shared with your neighbor. Ooh. Look at that. <gasps> Yo. Oh, some alien weapons here. Drukari weapon. And an Aldiri weapon. Is that how you pronounce that? I don't even know, but it's a sniper. And it fucking slaps, dude. Holy shit. Maybe I... Maybe I speck into that. Okay. She points at the containers in front of her. One contains a polished Ald Aldare. Is it Aldare? Rifle, a rare model, and the other one has an ornate sword. I am sharing what I've gained with you. Please accept these humble, humble gifts in honor of our widely successful, though suddenly struck, friendship. And the Aldari are uh, an ancient, highly advanced alien race that once dominated the galaxy. A truly wonderful gift. I accept it with gratitude. <laughs> More of your Xeno heresy. Uh, you have this, some nerves trying to peddle this filth to a true servant of the Emperor. <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> I just saw that. Uh, we are not here to exchange pleasantries. What is it you wanted to discuss? You consider these gifts? My lowliest enforcers are equipped with deadlier weapons than this. No, a truly wonderful gift. I accept your gratitude. I knew you would appreciate the Xeno's mastery of, the, of their craft. Jay beams at you, curling a lock of black hair around an augmented finger. Okay. Didn't know she didn't have hands. After a brief pause, she awkwardly continues. So the matter I wanted to discuss with you is related to my business. You know that I sell Xeno artifacts to interested Imperial subjects and Imperial trinkets to Xenos. Oh, you do. Oh, I thought it was just the first one. Okay. Business is going well. My network runs even without my participation. But when it comes to expansion, well, that is where I hit a wall. Rivals envious of my success, Jay throws her upper hands that she doesn't have. Uh, Falco, especially. 
<laughs> uh, she's a Jigglypuff main. Uh, I am certain the theft of the cargo was his doing, but I can never predict what that Ash Mag will do next. I wish there was a little. I wish there was a little, <laughs> a little tool tip for all the slurs. <laughs> uh, and while the Imperium's authority may be fragmented in the Expanse, it could crack down on people of my profession at any moment. I think I follow you. You should wish to use me. Uh, if you were slightly less useful to me, I would have brought you to justice myself. Get to the point. I do not have time to spend all day chatting with you. Uh, I think I follow. You wish to use me? Exalted one for Fend. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, could such a lowly servant of the Emperor use a radiant bearer of the warrant uh, like some kind of tool? The other way around, however. Mm. You want to be used by me? <laughs> hey, baby. Uh, if the rogue trader put in a good word for me with the servants of the Adeptus Administratum, I could become an official trade representative of the Imperium. Just imagine it. A little scrap of paper will offer me and my agents protection against Ashmag schemes far better than any refractor field. And even the Inquisition will have to think twice before they mess with me. Because I'll be representing, uh, be a representative of the law in my own right. Interesting. That definitely could be a good thing to have under our belt here. And the best part of all this is that it will cost you precisely nothing, Shireen. Uh, all you have to do is stop by the Ad Administratum Palace and obtain cer a cer certificate from the Master of Seals. My informants tell me that the palace is located on Durangodos, your capital world. Oh, you see how everything is aligned so wonderfully? And of course, I will replay pay you in kind. Okay. How do I benefit from you gaining your official status? Uh, that sounds simple enough. I will help. I will never allow you to ilk your ilk to lay such so much as a finger on true power. You and your ulcer on the you are an ulcer on the body of the Imperium. Thank the, your exalted one that I have not incarcerated you in righteous flame incinerated you in righteous play. Uh, do you really think I care <laughs> one jot about the trivials of the Casabellian kin scum? I don't even know. Um, sounds good. I'll help you. Exalted one, bless you, Shireen. I couldn't find a better business partner in all the expanse. Jay ponders for a moment and then graces you with a dazzling smile. Friendship is a gift from the exalted one. And we must cherish it. And you will have no complaints about our friendship, Shireen. I may be a trade representative of the Imperium. I may not be a trade representative of the Imperium just yet, but I can still help you with whatever you need. You must have some faction in mind that you would like to establish relationships with. The severe Darusians, the hot headed pirates of the Casbalica? Is that what that is? Uh, you merely need to use the right words, like a key for a lock, and people will open their hearts to you or, and, or our, their wallets. I will arrange everything you merely have to ask. Ooh, what is this now? I gain... Oh... Shit! I wish I remembered which one I wanted. Okay, help me establish co cooperation with them. I wish to develop friendly relations with the Darusians. The Adeptus Mechanicus, they are, they are the partners I need now. I wouldn't mind having closer ties with the pirates in the Expanse. I think I'm gonna go with the Explorators. The Adeptus Mechanicus here? I don't really... 
I don't really have a preference right now. I did look through a lot of their stuff, but I didn't memorize what exactly I was looking for. You know what I mean? So I think I'm just going to take this here. Oh, but I'm probably fucking that up because there's probably like, like these two have like really high requirements or some shit. Fuck it. I'm just going to go with that. 2000 reputation reputation with the faction not a problem shireen i ha i will have my people put a in a good word for you in the right circles very cool i humbly wait until you steal your vessel towards dargonus uh the mercantile tableau official jesus christ tableau tableau i don't know <laughs> it sounds almost as majestic as the warrant of trade in dialogue. Very cool. Talk to the Masters of Seal about getting a J into business here. Oh shit, where's the fucking elevator, dude? I don't remember. There? There it is. Okay. Very cool. Well, now we have an objective on that world specifically. I don't know if... Let me actually just go through my journal real quick. Let me see if there is specifically a... Uh, so this is... 10 planet scanning. Uh, dangerous location in person. However, the Liege believes that the death of the last victim in the area isn't affected. Okay, so that's in the shadow quarters. Okay, so that's not, uh, uh, football is experiencing, yeah, shortage with provisions. That could be good. So we do have to go there, reclaim what is lost. Oh, shit, there's a ton here. Von Valencia's protectors has been, uh, disestablished by the disturbance of the war. Okay. Oh, so this is just... Oh, okay, these are the, the three that I need here. So is the capital world, and then here is Keepa Gamma, which uh, provides heavy machinery and hosts of useful materials not found on other planets. And then this one is Janus. This is the food supply. So what I'm trying to look for here is that we do have we do have a uh, a second quest on this planet for sure because I believe because it says time of crisis I'm assuming that it's like depending on the order you go to them in depend or determines like the outcome because they're like you know quote unquote timed even though there's not really a timer uh I but this one we have for the uh the dude on footfall like the main guy on footfall we have here for um jay i don't think we have any other quests on kiva gamma sister argenta has asked the road trader to discuss recent uh events in private on the ship okay well we'll get to that definitely uh, we actually have this the interrogator has asked the rogue trader to set aside a, a time for a private conversation Heinrichs, okay we're definitely gonna get to those talk to the master seal yep we just got that call on the edge I'm a god to your subjects yeah 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 uh what is this Pascal has found a data bank belonging to the road traders predecessor uh, okay I encrypted this database may prove use oh so i have to go to here very bundus no the bridge cogitator uh, cogitor cogitator i'm a fucking jesus uh the bridge cogitator once belonged to theodora von valesius pascal is sure that it can be used to decrypt the dis discovered databank oh okay so let's actually go check that out then, because that's next to our desk, isn't it? We could have done that immediately, actually. Uh, isn't it right here? Isn't this it? Isn't this the... Oh, what is this now? Link your account. Hold up. What the fuck is happening here? I didn't mean to touch that. 
Link my account to what? Twitch? For this shit? No, thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Um. Yeah. Go here. Oh, this is just the Shrine of Remembrance. I thought this was her computer. Am I stupid? Am I just misremembering? It says Ancestry Records, but... Maybe that's not it, actually. Maybe that is indeed actually not it. Yeah, hey, that's the bath. Oh, who are you? Would you like to take a bath, your lordship? Perform your... My what? <laughs> Ablutions? I don't even know what that is. We're gonna click on it. We're gonna take a bath. We're gonna get naked. We're gonna crash the game. Hey, look at my boy. Hey, we having a good time in here. What the fuck? What the hell, dude? Why did they just take out a big ass piece of ham and then bring in another one? Did y'all see that? What was that? Whatever. The soothing co waters caresses your senses and your grateful muscles welcome the chance to rest. A pleasant languor uh, spreads through your body as you allow yourself a moment of quiet relaxation. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Relax and close my eyes. Address the master of absolutions. Ablutions? I don't even know what that word is. Uh, I wish to see someone from my retinue. <gasps> Ooh. You two get in here. I require company and pleasant conversation. Wait, who the fuck am I talking to here? Is it just the two guards at the door? Doesn't dress the enforcers. Hmm, should I bring let me Let me see who I get here. I simply cannot bathe without my loyal seneschal. Oh, <laughs> uh, which of them would you like to summon? She always liven themes up. Argenta, I wish to know what the sisters of the battle do in their spare time. Cassia, I want to paint I want her to paint my portrait. Heinrichs. He will keep me entertained. Pascal, I wish to see my engine seer. Jay, she knows how to have a good time. I've changed my mind. Oh, who do I want to bathe with? What a fucking question I did not think I was going to be asking today. <sighs> that is actually fucking hilarious, that first option, but it's got to be a, like a girl, right? Like, I'm not... I'm not saying nothing, but, you know, Wilbur's, Wilbur's, uh, uh you know, that kind of guy. <laughs> he, he's looking to riz up a motherfucker, for real. You know what? Let's get Argenta in here, dude. Is that weird? Fuck it. At once. She's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> That absolute unit. What the hell is she doing? Is she getting ready? Oh, is she stretching? What the fuck is she doing? Uh, Wilbur, you condition your body with water treatments? How commendable. Allow me to share some of the water exercises I learned at the Scola Progerium? I don't even know. A division of the ecclesiarchy responsible for the upbringing, education, and training of orphans who, of the officers and nobles who have died in the service of the Imperium. Argenta does not wait for a reply, but immediately launches into a series of detailed instructions. 65% there. Do we just tell her to hold on a moment? Let's try it. Failed. Argenta's enthusiastic zeal is so contagious you cannot help but follow the sister's lead as her demonstrates as she demonstrates each exercise. 
Argenta briskly explains how to stretch your every muscle correctly. She makes you repeat each ep exercise multiple times as she teaches you the best way to do bends and squats. Her eyes are <laughs> alight with righteous fire, and her voice rings out with conviction. She shows the same dedication and complete uh, contemplating each exercise as she does to destroying heritage. Well, this is not what I was expecting. I'll be real. Athletics Texas succeeded. The sister is tireless. It is a challenge to keep up with her unrelenting pace, but you refuse to accept defeat. Your muscles are starting to ache by the time you finish the exercises, but your body feels invigorated. Aim seven experience. Does this dude look like he needs exercise? Let's come on, dude. You got to be body positive here. Argenta wipes the sweat from her brow uh, with an air of satisfaction. Well, yeah, because she's doing this in fucking full armor, bro. Good work, Wilbur. A healthy body is a finely tuned bolter. Is like a finely tuned bolter, a worthy instrument of his will. I will take my leave now. Rest and recover your strength. That was not what I was expecting at all. That kind of... <laughs> oh, look at this. I mean, do I invite the boys in here? As long as we're 10 feet apart, because we're not gay, you know? Or do I just, nah, I'm gonna close my eyes and relax after that workout. The tension slowly retreats as your body, as you bring yourself to complete stillness, joint by joint, muscle by muscle, pore by pore. Before long, you have surrendered the bastion of your body to the bliss of oblivion. Troubles, worries, loss, such things do not belong in this newly established dominion of tranquility. There are only the infinite waters and weightless of weightlessness in which, stripped of all things superficial, the mind of Wilbur von Valencius drifts in silent bliss. Ooh. Okay. It is a conscious mind. And what fills this consciousness? Oh shit, we're at Conoclast, right? Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm tripping. I haven't played this game in so long. Uh, only a desperate desire to lose himself in these precise moments of peace and quiet before they are gone. Uh, thoughts of his monumental duty to the Emperor. Such duty can only be fulfilled through service and death. For such is the price of humanity's victory in the everlasting war. Uh, thoughts of those who keep him afloat in these waters. Who will drown and who will he manage to pull up to the surface? Thoughts about the price paid for power. The inconsistent paths through which such power is obtained and... Uh, uh, and the people and things he will sacrifice for the sake of his supremacy. We're going to go Iconoclast. The strands of fate are fragile, yet woven together they are strong. Not everyone is destined to see this voyage through to its end, but no one will be forgotten. Okay. Can I just do that again? No. Okay, cool. This moment of serenity soon fades. The body reclaims the mind, binding it once more to the familiar shell of flesh, sinew, and bone. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's get the boys in here, dude. Enforcer Brand. The Enforcer exchanged a puzzled glance. Do you mean us, your lordship? There's no to be, be, be shy. Relax with me for a moment. Actually, I've changed my mind. No, nah, come on in, dude. The water's fine. Orders received, your lordship. We will commence a relaxation immediately. Oh, let's go. Oh, they are pretty close. <laughs> oh, wait. One of them's a girl. <laughs> oh, whoops. That was, uh, that was a little biased of me, wasn't it? 
<laughs> I didn't even consider that to be an option. The enforcers are lean and muscular. They sit down awkwardly in the bathtub, clearly fighting the urge to stand at attention. What would you like to talk about, your lordship? We await your orders. I wish to be fed. <laughs> You seem tense. Your orders are to enjoy some of the foods and the, uh, Amasek. Couldn't remember the word. Tell me about yourselves. Do you have any other responsibilities besides guarding these chambers? What do enforcers do in their free time? Uh, you may relax with me here until I am finished bathing. You may return to your post. Um, tell me about yourselves. For hundreds of years, our clan has been responsible for ensuring the rogue trader's safety during times of leisure and relaxation. The enforcer's voice is filled with pride. I guard the bath chamber just as my grandmother did before me. She trained me herself and instructed me in my duties. That's awesome. I mean, it's kind of a fucking waste if <laughs> I'm real, but, uh, but, but it's an important job for sure. Uh, this bath chamber has been more dangerous than a battlefield sometimes. You can slip on a wet tile, you can choke and drown. If the water is too hot, you can burn yourself, and if it's too cold, you can freeze. There have even been cases where angry machine spirits have released sparks of their fury into the water. And of course, there have been numerous assassination attempts. And the woman stops abruptly as the other enforcer loudly clears his throat. <clears throat> Maybe don't talk about uh, assassination attempt. <laughs> it is assuring to know my enforcers are prepared for anything. I'm afraid to take a bath now, thanks to you. <laughs> no, I'm glad y'all are here. We live to serve your lordship. We'll keep you safe. Um, what do y'all do in your free time? When we're off duty, we train, maintain our equipment, and pray at regulation-approved intervals. If we do have some time to ourselves, we might play some Tantolo. And Bran over here caves, uh, craves things. Oh, carves things out of soap scraps. The oh, fuck? She nods at her partner. Uh, the... <laughs> Though for the most part, we barely get enough time for rest, let alone for leisure. <laughs> Pass Bran a piece of soap and a knife. I demand a demonstration, Bran. Yeah, show me, brother. <laughs> the enforcer looks slightly flustered, but he quickly gets to work. After a while, he presents you with a bust of the Emperor, about half the size of your palm. The Emperor's visage has been recreated with incredible precision and attention to detail. The small carving surpasses the work of many a skilled sculpture. Drop the soap. Oops, so clumsy. Well, it's only soap. What a curious hobby, but the carvings of yours... But the carving is yours. You should keep it. I will have it placed in my study. Damn, do I let him keep it or do I... Nah, he'll he'll want me to keep it more, right? Let's do that. The enforcer's speechless with amazement. His eyes shine with pride. I'm not worthy of such of honor. Thank you, <laughs> your lordship. Uh Okay, you seem tense. Your orders are enjoy some of the food in the amnesic. Amnesic. <laughs> <laughs> the enforcers are barely able to conceal their incitement as they shove delicious delicacies into their mouths and wash them down with obscenely expensive drinks. They have never experienced anything like this before and likely never will again. It is a feast they will not soon forget, a story they will tell their grandchildren someday. See? Okay. This is my view on, like... Uh, this kind of stuff. Cause okay, I don't know if y'all have ever seen. Uh, there's a there's an Apple uh, TV show called Foundation. It's a sci-fi series, really good. But uh, it's also based on a book. Anyway, but in that show, there's a there's a line where the uh, uh, the 
sort of emperor is talking to someone and uh talking to a child and he's just like do i really have to do this this sucks like and he's just like he's like this might not be uh the most important thing you do all week but it's the most important thing that they'll do in their lives and i was kind of like that's psychotic on a level but also like kind of insp inspiring because if you take that and twist it into a better way of like like wilbur here can go out of his way to give them a story that they will be telling their grandchildren like in such an easy simple thing that they can give out that kind of joy to people and that's amazing that's really what i feel is like the the crux of like just having power and shit like that you know or just being able to provide people with that sort of happiness you know just doing things like that you know it's not going to inconvenience you in any way but it'll make them so much happier you know anyway uh you can relax here until i'm finished bathing we would consider it a great honor, your lordship, but please do not tell the master at arms we joined in your uh, ablutions? Ablution? I don't even know. Mistress Sourback will beat us bloody if she finds out. All right, let's get the fuck out of the bath. You feel revitalized. This is truly an experience worthy of a rogue trader. Awesome. Got to work out with Argenta. Got to actually meet some of the guards that was cool i like that a lot that was fun can i just do it again i can just do this as many times as i please okay hold on because now i'm interested in what the fuck is it gonna give me all the options again can i choose someone else to come into the bath with me is it just gonna replay all the stuff that i just saw yeah okay yeah no didn't think so but i'll probably come back and periodically do this uh because that was uh quite enjoyable as an experience actually very fun what is this over here this is just bullshit okay just text Ugh. who needs that okay see here bridge officer so we still didn't really oh pascal actually moved oh he's talking to abel oh do they actually move like when they have new things to talk about adir is still there who else has moved i can't see anyone over here can i no they're not even loaded in okay well, interesting. I think I will speak to Pascal again in the next episode. Uh, sorry we didn't get to talk to Jay too much, but we got to have a bath and have some fun in there. So that was pretty, uh, pretty cool. Didn't expect the, the bath episode, <laughs> to be sure. Uh, but next time we'll finish our conversation with Jay. She did give us that, uh, that quest. And then I think we'll go to talk to Pascal, see if he has anything new to uh, say here. But yeah, other than that, is she just holding her gun? She, oh wait, hold up. Does she have, hold up, before we, before we end it. Jay, you're dual wielding. Are these Drukari weapons? What are these? This just says blast pistol. This doesn't say, this says splinter pistol. This doesn't say, it does say it's a Xeno artifact or at, the, at least this one does. It's exotic. It says, and this is Laz. It doesn't say what type, can I, info? No, no, no. Drukari weapon proficiency. Okay, there we go. And then what is this then? This is also Drukari. Okay, so she does have Drukari proficiency, which means that she can use that fucking badass sniper rifle she just gave us, right? Oh, she can also use this blood-seeking clave. That's how you say it. 
Is this also Drupari? It is. Maybe I give her that. It is just straight up better. Oh, but it is two-handed. Does it matter if she... She just has this chain sword. I mean, it's a good chain sword. It's an Aldiri chain sword. Oh. Oh, so he, she has Aldiri and Drukari weaponry. But I guess that doesn't necessarily make it better. It is two-handed, and it is a lot more iron. This just seems better in general. Oh, well, the plus 10 parry, minus 10 to weapon skill when hit. I'm assuming that's the enemy. And when we hit the enemy? Area of attack has increased area of attack. Oh. That's interesting. Well, let's see here. Let's look at this. Uh, we do have the shuriken pistol. Odd. Those definitely seem way better. Let me see if I can find the sniper rifle here. Wanderer's portent. What does my sniper do? 18 to 25 with 20 armor penetration. This is 20 to 25 with 20 armor penetration. And dog reduction and hit chance. Additional hit chance. Ooh, this is bucket. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Does this only have the dead eye shot? This rifle can only perform dead eye shot attacks whenever the wielder scores a critical hit in a single shot attack. They gain an additional attack this turn. But I'd have to use two AP instead of the one. And how much ammo does this have? Ten. That's an interesting trade-off for sure. Let's see here. I think she's built for dual wielding, isn't she? Like, maybe I give her the... Yeah, I... well... Let me see here. Where's Abelard? There you are, all the way in the back. You can't use this, right? You don't have Drakari weapon proficiency. But it is way better. <laughs> it is way better, I will say. The Serrated Greatsword does have a higher... Yeah, it's just better than that altogether, honestly. Um, Jesus Christ, I have so many fucking goddamn weapons. Holy shit. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it on her. I doubt I'll ever, like, really get to use... Oh, shit, that looks so fucking cool, dude! Yes, bro! Oh, that's worth it. That's honestly so worth it. That's so fucking badass looking. Very, uh, like, Klingon-esque, I gotta say. Anyway, yeah, we'll give her that. I think we'll hold off on the sniper rifle here. Yeah, because I think I'll do the, uh, oh, that costs two AP too, I just realized. This dark light blast, it's two AP. And then she has the, uh, where is it, uh, go to character? She has the feet of... Talent. Let me see here. Uh, no. Oh, this is Wilbur. I'm stupid. Let's go here. She has dual wielding. Am I wrong? Dual wielding combat. Character can attack with a second weapon in their turn. In their current weapon set, in addition to the usual one attack per round, the skill suffers 20% damage. To penalty to weapon skill and ballistic skill and cost plus one AP more. Interesting. What is this gunslinger? While Jay is fighting with weapons in both hands, the attack 
from the second hand, depending on which hand she attacked with in the first round, does not cost any additional AP. Ooh, that's fucking dirty, that combo. Well then, that changes things up, little lady. What the hell am I pressing here? Anyway. Yeah, if that's the case, then we want to go with a one-handed weapon for sure, then. What was the one-handed weapon she had? This one, right? Is this a specific... Adeptus Astartes equipment? Drukari equipment? Eldar equipment? Oh, these are prerequisites. Must not have features. What? I don't understand that. Anyway, let's just put this on. Let's see. Can we sort these by... Damage? Specification in ascending order? I don't know what that means. Are these like the most damaging ones we have? Teams. Aldari Chainsword. This is the one she had. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one she had. So what do I want to put in her second hand? Ooh, maybe the Venom Blade? Venomous Slash. Most warriors prefer swords uh, for their provided more flexibility on the battlefield against close range target. What does the Venom Slash do here? Affects multiple uh, enemies at once and poisons hit targets with toxin. We are doing it. Look at that shit. She is a dual wielding menace. Oh, she's going to kick so much ass. Hopefully, maybe. Let's put back on the guns. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh... I just wonder how that's gonna work. Because this is gonna cost 2 AP. She has 5 AP total, correct? Am I crazy? Anyway. I believe they have 5 AP total. Well, I can actually just exit out of this. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, we start with 5. And, uh, so that would be two here, and then one here, because the dual wielding is negated, or the dual wielding penalty is negated by the, uh, other shit she has, right? So it should just be a two and then a one. If things work out the way it should be, if not, it'll be a... a a two and a two for her specifically. Oh, shit. May the exalted one protect you. Have you grown bored without our little talk, Sherin? Get off my shit. I'm just kidding. I'll see you later. Oh, I have no doubt you will. Cool. She winks with her eye patch. <laughs> anyway. Okay, that's enough looking into shit and, and wasting too much time. I'll see you in the next one. We're probably going to talk more with Jay now that we have her, uh, now that we have her quest dialogue out of the way. And then we're going to talk to Pascal there because he's changed positions. We're probably going to talk to Abel there too, just to, oh, is this the computer they were talking about? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. For all I know, it's this fucking thing over here. All right. Anyway, let me get over here to Wilbur. Let me turn him around so you can see his beautiful fucking face. And I'll see you in the next one.